hello welcome so let's uh work on our app to complete everything now so that we can truly have a crude uh pressure going on as a creator retrieve update and delete we want to have all of these so we'll simply get back to our app.js so you can see this is where we brought in uh, our express our body parser our app and our mongoose so what we are going to do now to do this is first of all we need to bring in the uh the thin model which we just created in the last class when we did the schema so we'll try and bring in this thin model so I'll just copy this uh, so you remember we use the uh require to bring it we can bring it just below here or uh, think it's better we'll bring it here just below our express so we do constant uh, uh constant thing equal to require thing so we're bringing it in here because it's uh i told us that whenever you want to bring in something want to import something that is a, a standalone model we use the double quote or single code but when we want to bring a mod uh something we created inside this our folder we just use dot slash you remember we created the models folder and the thing is inside the models folder so that's how we bring it in so next thing we're going to do now is to change our post route so that it can really uh function as dynamically so i'm going to use this code now and replace the former post route that we have so if you remember this is the post route that we have where we had coded it but now I want it to be done the way it should be so i'm gonna select the whole of this this post route and replace it with this code now so basically what this code is saying that uh, 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 the, we are creating a constant from the object that we had earlier put in so we're having title is going to be bringing in the title description all is going to be from request rec body image where uh, price user id and what that is done it says you save the thing into the database and if it went through successfully say post saved successfully if not it should catch any error so that's what that is saying so with that we can implement a very good uh, uh posting that will go to our database and persist so having done that we can also quickly so that we don't split this video into plenty parts we can re retrieve everything so to retrieve everything this is the code that i'm going to use to to retrieve everything so i'll simply copy it i'll go back to this other code that i had before you can see api stuff this was the former code that we had before but it's not working the way uh, it's not persisting the data in the database so to replace it i'm going to simply uh, so to replace this code i'm going to pick up this code from here to here and i'm going to replace it with the one i just copied so what is this saying it's saying that uh, at this very uh route that we should just find all if you said find one then we know we are retrieving only one thing but this time around it's going to be finding everything that is in the database and if that happens it should show us the status code of 200 meaning that it worked if it didn't and status code of 400 showing that it did not work so having for this is for a complete thing we want to get a complete thing this is the get route for a complete thing but if we now want to get specifically some things uh, a particular thing so we can use this other code to get a particular thing which is also needed so i want to do the whole of them and uh, test run them at once so that we can see the impact immediately so i'm going to copy this to see a particular thing so i'm going to put it here so this is for a particular thing and what makes it different is that we're having a, a id because and we are using find one here so
So we are using find one and we are using id as the parameter that will determine the particular one that we are finding. So if it goes through, status code 200, if it doesn't, then 400. So that, those are the things that we are supposed to do. Now, we can also check out the put and delete a thing. So I will simply copy this. This is put is when you want to change. If you want to make any change, that's the command, that's the uh, API, uh, this uh, verb that we use, put or delete. So I'm going to come down here. Now control V to put a thing. Then if you want to delete, this is the app that delete, that's what you use. So I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to paste it here to be the last code. So with that, we have our crude operation effective. This is app.delete. You are deleting at this very ID. So any specified ID we are going to delete. And we are using Mongo's, this Mongo's uh, method, thing.delete1, to delete a particular thing. Whereas we are using thing.update1, this very Mongo's method, to update a particular thing. So that is what we are doing. And before we do that, we had area created an object of the thing. So that is it. So I'm going to say Ctrl S to save this. So if it's still connected successfully to Mongo DB at last, then we can actually practice this and it will work the way we want. So uh, you see, successfully connected. So we can simply get to here and test everything and we can see that everything is working. So we'll go to localhost uh, uh, 4200. Uh, where we are supposed to okay i need to make it uh, to be running down here so i'll go to the okay i'll open another bash another bash uh, environment so that i can make it run here so i can say um cd to front end then i can say ng serve So when I say this out, uh, if it starts running, then I should be able to see it here. So in subsequent class, I'm going to show us everything, the way they are working, so that we can do the assignment from the open classroom. So once my NGSA starts serving, then if you refresh here, you should be able to see the website. So I'll wait a minute for it to come up so that I can refresh and go on. Thank you.